failure is not fraud. You have permission to fail so that you get better. Risk plays a very important role in, in entrepreneurship. Most entrepreneurial ventures start off with a lot of risk. Taking a risk is incredibly important. Until you actually get out there and start doing it, it's all theoretical. It could be researching a new area, working on a new project, joining a network, an association, pushing the button on that marketing spin. All of those things are risk. No risk, no reward. Understanding the space you're in is first and foremost, so that you can take a measured risk. We just invested in a high growth startup. They just closed their seed round and now they're leaving their full-time jobs. So they took a measured risk. And when you have responsibilities like most people do, you have to count the cost of taking that risk. There's no right way per se, as long as you can measure the risk for the particular opportunity that you're pursuing. And balance is really the key there. As a small business owner, particularly in under-resourced networks, failing can feel like fraud. And failure is not fraud. Everyone talks about high growth startups scale, or fail. No one talks about the jobs that were created in the meantime. You know, some startups go from zero to a hundred, they don't make it, but they had a three year run, five year run, seven year run. People were employed during that process. And a lot of times the people who have worked at a failing venture are great hires for the next one because they know now what to do to mitigate some of that failure. If you are afraid of failure, usually what you are afraid of hasn't happened yet. Work on your belief, your hope, your faith, and it's like a muscle. You have to develop it. You have permission to try it so that you get better. So if you want to be incredibly successful, I want to know what you failed at and how did you fail forward.